totally accurate battle simulator official full release update. The full release is here. God. Seriously, I thought putting this thing on would have been a great idea. We have been waiting so long. The full 1.0 release of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator is here, and apparently it comes with not one, but two new factions. Are you ready to see what's going on? I am ready to check it out. Take a look at this, it's actually a brand new menu overlooking the cave map with our uh, lovely wobblers and our lovely raptors and everything is new and shiny. I don't know where to start. Okay, let's just start the sandbox and take a look. We got, this is here, no new map. This UI is new too. Delete buttons over here, like the little wobblers and the delete buttons, fantastic. But here's the question. Let's take a look. You have the tribal faction, you have the farmer faction, the medieval faction, the ancient faction, Vikings, dynasty, renaissance, pirate, spooky, wild west, legacy, secret. Where are the new factions? Though I do see icons for two new secret units. Something looks like a jaggedy bone sword and then uh, a, a maze with blood coming out of it. So where are the factions? Also with multiplayer, there's a multiplayer option. You can do multiplayer tabs, oh my God. So now this begs the question, if the new factions aren't here, do you have to find them? Looking around the Christmas map, one thing I will say, they've smoothed out the camera. We gotta start looking across all these maps, trying to figure out where or where, wait. Wait, wait. The secret door? The uh, farmer snow, do 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 do, uh, uh, medieval one. Go to medieval one. I mean, this door, it's been here a long time. And we've always teased like, what's in the door? What's in the door? What's in the door? And it's glowed and it's changed colors. That looks like a new color. Let's approach the door. Here we go, here we go. What's actually inside? No clickbait, what's really inside the door? What? Is this? We finally get to answer the question of what's inside. I mean, I mean a shrine? There's a chicken. Remember the fascination with the chickens? I, I'm like, I'm, I'm shocked. Hold on, I need headphones on. I need, I need to hear what's going on. What is that noise? Oh, 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 things are happening. It's a portal? This is so cool. Are you guys enjoying this? I'm just like, just soaking it in. Priest? There's a kid with a hat? Guy holding cups? Bear head? There's a healer. I wonder who these people are. That looks kind of like Zeus, but it looks even more impressive than Zeus. Interesting. Are we ready? Okay. Here we go, into the portal. What's inside? Defeats. Blue team protected advance. I don't seem to have any new f new units yet. Let's just zoom around the map. Look at this map. Oh, there's rocks floating in the sky. There's trees floating in the sky. Is this heaven? Are we in tabs heaven? Okay, I want to look around the map. Let's sort of come down here, down to the bottom, because you know how to hide secret units down here at the bottom of maps. That's where I would hide units too. Just a quick look, guys. Just a quick look. This is fantastic. I get the feeling there's going to be secret units somewhere on this map. Maybe in another video we'll find those secret units. But for now, let's get into a fight. Maybe we have to beat this campaign to unlock the new units. Look at these units. Is this like a holy angel faction? Look at these little girls. With the other butterfly ears. A uh, headpiece. These guys holding on to what looks like some amazing punching weapons. How many points do I have? 2,700 points? Okay. Um. Legacy faction, I want to use something powerful. Only 2,700 points though, it's not a lot of points to do much. I mean, I should just go berserkers. Like usually with this kind of thing, guys, we want to go, but whoa. It's like they're teleporting into heaven. 
That's just crazy. And I'm out of points. <laughs> Whoops. Here we go. Bunch of berserkers. Slow mo. They leap into the fight against these brand new units. That I have no clue what they do. I've never seen them fight before. Yo, the eyes on this guy are messed up. Look at the berserkers fighting the holy people. I don't even know the unit's names. I don't know what they do, but we've got our butts handed to us. Ah, we gotta beat this. Three days later. Wait, maybe now that we've gotten this far in the campaign, we've gotten to the campaign, we actually can play with the units? Maybe? Oh, I've actually unlocked the fantasy map. Now that you've found it, you actually unlock it. And I'm looking down here trying to find a fantasy faction. I'm not seeing a fantasy faction. We've unlocked the map. Do you have to beat the campaign to unlock the faction? That doesn't seem to be like make any sense at all. Well, I guess I'll just take a quick look around to see if I can find any secret units for you guys while we're here. So, uh, give me a second. 12 seconds later. Wait, 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 wait. There is something going on up there. Do you see that? What is that? Where, where are you? What are you? Oh, 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 that's something. That's something. Solar Architect. Oh, that was the Mace of the Blood. Okay, you know, we're just gonna see what this guy does before we do anything else. Before we continue, let's watch and see what the Solar Architect can do. Yo, what ability is that? Are you kidding me? That's a weird explosion. They look fantastic. <gasps> do we have new clothes for the unit creator? Oh, dude, that's gonna be fantastic. That's the Solar Creator. Let's see if we can find the other secret unit located somewhere on this map. I'm assuming it's on this map. 3.28 a.m. I have scoured this map relentlessly and I cannot find any other secret unit or secret weapon here. Watch Crow's face closely. You can see the exact moment he figures it all out. Wait a second. I was standing here thinking about the holy faction. The opposite of a holy faction is an evil faction. So if you wanted to get an evil faction, where would you find it? And I remembered we found the holy faction through the door under Medieval 1, but there is an evil version of Medieval 1. Go up to the maps. You go over to Spooky 1. Spooky 1 is the evil version of Medieval 1, so the good door might be an evil door. Headphones on, gotta hear this. Let's go and check. If I'm right, that's amazing. And my powers of deduction are legendary. Let's go and see. Maybe that means if it is true, there may be another... Oh, hello? Hi. Um, do we have to go down there? Do, do we have to? I mean, I could just stay with you, you and me, stay here, and enjoy our, each other's company, and not go into the creepy pit of death. I don't want to go in the creepy pit of death. What's so... That's why I have headphones on. Headphones are good. Headphones help with hearing things. Hello? My name's Crow, and clearly things are looking not so good in this zone. Many of the statues are busted, especially the little godlies in the back. And you can see a trail of darkness coming out of where once the, the god sat. And there's the pit. Let's go. I wanted to see what that was. Oh, hello, Sudden Blades, another campaign, and this map is legendary. Look at how creepy this is. It's so dark, but then you have these dark green lights just shining. And over here, you have some evil, devilish units with no faces. Those are creepy. B. And then over here, whoa, these guys are not looking very good too. What's with the little balls, spiky balls on their backs and their gauntlets on their hands? They're kind of futuristic almost. Spiky head, double shields, portals, twirling nether. This map is interesting, which means our seat. Do you see it? Do, do you see it? Look, look right there. Dead ahead. It's dead side of the screen. You can't miss it, guys. It's right there. That is the other secret unit. Look at that weapon. What does it become? Infernal Whip. Oh, I can't wait to make a unit. It's gonna be such a good one. Oh my God, I'm excited. Let's check out the Whip Lady. Before we continue on, there is a Solar Architect and here is the Infernal Whip. Look at this Infernal Whip. 
Look at those weapons. Look at the clothing. Oh, the unit creator is getting such an upgrade. All right, Infernal Whip, get at it. Oh, shot in the head by the Solar Architect. That is rude. Let the Infernal Whip do its thing. I, I want to see the whips extend out and reach. That is one of the coolest weapons we've ever seen in totally accurate battle simulator. This dude is being pulled into this flaming vortex behind it. Oh, that right there is a Doctor Strange spell. Oh my god, I can't wait for the unit creator. Do we want to take a quick look at the unit creator? Yeah, do you want it? I kind of want it. Let's take a quick look. Making a random unit. Weapons. You have access to the entire evil faction weapons, access to the entire good faction weapons, as well as their clothes. Also, I was uh, hunting into the controls and there's a Twitch section. Oh, there's an enable unit health bars. Um, we're gonna try that out. Quick health bar test. Oh, look at that. Look at the health bars on these guys. That's fantastic. That is such a good addition. That is such a good addition. I love that a lot. 2,000 years later. Oh! Uh? <laughs> it was staring me in the face the whole time. Nice. Good faction. Evil faction. They're here? They're in the extra of the landfall faction sections? So they had to actually physically add them? That's so strange. Let's check out the new units. Devout, Gauntlet, Celestial, Aegis, Radiant, Glaive, Righteous, Paladin, Divine, Arbiter, Sacred, Elephant, <laughs> Chrono, Manter. Let's take a look at these units. Just get a little look. We've seen the punching guy. He seems to be the basic unit of the good faction. Then you've got little girl with the spinning orbs of power. This guy is, we haven't seen him yet. Powerful shield, amazing looking punching weapon. This is the paladin, I believe. Look at that, look at that hammer. Oh my goodness, look at that hammer. That's fantastic, the shield's fantastic. The headpiece is great. This guy seems to be a sorcerer of sorts, a wizard of sorts. Here's our mighty elephant. It's like, almost like a reskinned mammoth. And then you have the elephant rider up here, dual wielding these throwing spears glowing. <gasps> Are we gonna be allowed to have weapons glow now? And then this is the ultimate unit, the leader of the good faction. Fantastic. I guess we'll draw the evil faction. Shadow, Walker, Exiled, Sentinel, Mad, Mechanic, Void, Cultist, Tempest, Lich, Death, Bringer, Void, Monarch. Let's take a look at these guys. We're gonna fight with them, don't you worry. I just wanna take a look at how they appear. He has no face. That is creepy. We saw Shield Lady before. We also saw a Spike Butt before. What's with the arm cannons though? That's interesting. Yeah, you look like you're gonna deal some damage and that beard is epic, by the way. You have no head. You have no legs. You have no head nor no legs. And that staff looks great. You do, look at the hair and the headpiece. Those weapons are amazing. And you just look up. Mwah. Oh, you're so cool. Oh, you're so cool. That sword in your back is epic. Oh, let's decrease the health bar size. Hold on. There we go. Tiny health bars, man. Let's make them fight. Let's make them fight. I think to start off, we'll go with the, uh, some devout gauntlets versus some um, shadow walkers. Devout gauntlets versus shadow walkers. And the shadow walkers seem to have a blink ability. They're teleporting. Oh, that was disgusting. One third of his HP is gone. I like the health bars. That is a great addition. These are all melee. Units, the, the, the good guys can punch. Oh my goodness. Can the good guys punch? Oh, that's not bad. Celestial Aegis. We saw some of those and they're going to fight exiled Sentinels. Celestial Aegis. Oh, the knockback on that is pretty vicious. The damage isn't that good. Shields getting close. Can the shields they deal a lot of damage because the, the girls don't have a lot of HP. They're spell casters. They're meant to be in the back. They're meant to support, but I wonder what this bubble does. Like the, the, the bubble, the force field. What if it slows projectiles or anything? On the good side, the radiant glove. Look at those guys. And on the evil side, the mad mechanic. Spike butt is actually called the mad mechanic. My bad, I look like a spike butt. Let's see what happens. Throwing. Oh, the weapons. They're ricocheting off multiple enemies. You see that? It bounced between enemies. Oh, spike butts aren't getting close enough. I, I want to see what spike butts do. All right, spike butt, impress me. Not bad. Oh, I like that. Yo, you hear that? 
That's a crazy sound effect. I wonder if those spike butts actually do anything like explode. Like, are they bombs or something? Righteous Paladins versus Void Cultists. Love the look of the Righteous Paladins. They look fantastic. The Void Cultists look particularly evil. It's like good Paladin. Void Cultists. What? 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 What is happening? Righteous Paladins dropping the hammer. Void Cultists skewering people. These abilities are epic. These abilities are fantastic. And then they fight. Righteous Hammers are dropping. Void Cultists with the spears and the circle. Like, God, that's just gross. I love the red lights in between the swords. It's just so cool. I, I can't tell who's winning. It seems like the Righteous Paladins are winning over the Void Cultists, but I like the fact that the fight is lasting a while. That these guys have a lot of HP, they're worth about 800 points each, and that's fantastic. I can't wait to use some of these abilities in the unit creator. We didn't even get to check the unit abilities. Like maybe the unit creator has these abilities in it. We didn't even get a chance to look, but it's, it's really tight race. There's still lots of units still alive. Void cultists, a bunch of dead. Paladins, divine arbiter versus tempest. Lich. I think the Divine Arbiter is just a basic looking spellcaster, probably gonna cast some magic spells, but the, the Lich is by far the coolest looking unit in the game. I like holy, I like knights, I like shiny knights in armor, I like wearing white, but these cultists, the, the, there's no heads, there's no legs, and you know they're going to do something cool. Here we go, wait for it. Black lightning bolts. Summoning thunderstorms, sending the guys into the air. The sorcerers are casting lights on their opponents. Wow. Okay, but what do the lights do? I need to know what these lights do. Let's take these out. Let's put in our void cultists. Because I want to see what those lights do. These white orbs. Do they explode? They explode and divine light comes down from heaven, destroying them. Jeez. Sacred. Elephant, which is just epic, versus the Death Bringer. The elephants look cool. I think they're probably gonna win because they're gonna have more HP than the Death Bringers. But these Death Bringers look like they're gonna leap towards the elephant and just wreck them. Let's see what happens. Oh, they close the distance and they deal a bunch of damage. The horses, again, the horses, the elephants have a bunch of HP. And yeah, the Death Bringers are dying. They're dying brutally. There's a lot going on getting trampled by the elephants. These elephants are very strong. The riders haven't even been touched. We need to test them a little bit differently. Righteous Paladins, I want to see what these guys do. Knocks into the air. Yeah, I saw that slam. What did they do? Okay, we're fighting. Weapons look cool. Looks great in slow motion. Like it's just an epic fight. But where's the special ability? They seem to just simply be fighting, which is shocking. I expected a special ability on these guys' side. I mean, the lights trailing off the blades look fantastic. Maybe they're just durable? I don't see a special attack. That's interesting. Chronomancer. You know what, let's just do one. Chronomancer versus the Void Monarch. Good versus evil, guys. Void Monarch with that amazing sword behind him. Chronomancer with this clock behind him. I wonder if we're gonna see a time stop ability. Here we go. Yo, did you see that teleport ability? The sword is moving on its own volition? Oh, uh, the Chronomancer is... Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! What's going on? Why does it have wings? Why does it have wings? Well, if you can't quite see what's happening, just increase the number of units. What's the worst that could happen, guys? Here we go. They teleport. The swords move in. And this unit's stuck into the air. Time stopped in the air. My goodness, there's so much going on. Here we go. Transforming into this angel, this... Look at the wings. Look at the face. I have never seen this much power in tabs. I've never seen this much elegance, this much... I'm running out of words. Ground spikes coming out. Is that the sword? More angels. Look at the angels, guys. These devils don't seem to stand a chance. And um, before I forget to check, I'm just gonna go over here. Special abilities. Order units to stay, order units to charge. Dragon kick, dragon punch. Two ice breaths. Godlike projectile block. 
Arrow Volley, Legacy Impale, Firestorm, Fire Vortex, Ice Storm, Rocket Volley. There's a lot of new abilities, and yet I don't recognize many of the new abilities from the new factions. That is it for the update. We will have plenty more videos coming out in the future on this update, guys. Hope you really enjoyed it. Look forward to some stuff. I can't wait to see what we can make in the unit creator. I can't wait to see what these guys can do against other units, secret units. I have so many questions. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, comment down below and let me know your favorite unit, guys. And as always, thank you very much for watching.